y'all kids know what time it is? Hey kids, it's your boy, Monkey Man McChimpington, and my trusty sidekick, Mr. Samuel Pip. He's just shy. Greetings, booze and ghouls. Uh, you kids are just in time for a macabre medley of sweet treats and hair raising scares. So grab your best buddy, this guy. And make sure you have your flashlight handy. Hey, it's time for for the awesome time Halloween for the awesome time Halloween special. <laughs> Submitted for the approval of the Monkey Midnight Society. They call this story. I call this tale the Legend of the Barf Bag Boogeyman. <laughs> Halloween was in full swing, and our two stuffed friends Rufus and Shubbers were picking out the perfect pumpkin to carve into the perfect jack-o'-lantern. Rufus's twin nephews Carlos and Francis were spending Halloween with him, and the two were quite a pudgy handful. Go, go, Rufus! We got the chubby one! We got the chubby one! No, boys, that's way too chubby. Put it down. <laughs> boys! As darkness fell across the land, the trick-or-treating hour was at hand. All dressed up, the gang took to the streets in search of a treasure trove of Halloween sweets. I got a swirly smacker and a goo goo gobber. I got a bag of Snickers. I got foot pants. I got what the? I got a rock. Thanks, but no thanks, you sadistic bozo. Yeah. What the? The foursome had emerged victorious with heavy sacks of Halloween candy, but Chubber's thirst for excess could not be quenched. Well, I'd say we had a pretty successful loot. How about we head home for scary movies and gluttony? What? My sack's not even tearing at the seams yet. You know where we gotta go. That street five blocks over with the huge houses that were giving away full-size candy bars last year? Not that fun-size nonsense. Yeah, but- Come on, I know a shortcut. You didn't say we had to cut through a graveyard. Oh, can we mourn the dead strangers? Come on, guys, keep up. Should be on the other side of Jim. Well, well, well. If it isn't Goofus and the stupid banana. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a name that you could at least try to remember and then alter into a similar sounding insult. You blockheads just made a very wrong turn. <laughs> Hand over them bags, kitties. Oh, no, kids. It's those dreaded vegetable villains, the produce punks. Do what he says, suckers. Unless y'all want your butts kicked. You even got a butt, banana? Yes, I have a butt, and it receives kicks perfectly fine. Thank you very much. Just give him your bag, Chubbers. Here, take it. Uh, yeah, no. Please, uh, 
Why is this all wet? Mommy says accidents are called accidents because they're accidents. And I shouldn't feel embarrassed to identify my pee when it leaves my body. What? Y'all just got Jack for your sex. Can we just have one piece of our candy, Mr. Cucumber? What is this munchkin thing? A donut hole? Leave him alone, cool. Whoa, easy, Bubbles. You know what? In the spirit of the holiday season, I'm feeling very given. And I'm gonna give y'all a chance to earn your sacks back. Heard what the man said? That sound good to you, stupid? If I could still hear it, Mike. You guys ever been to the old abandoned Good Times Fun Park? Yeah, back when it wasn't old and abandoned, yeah. Well, do you know why it closed down? Economic decline? Man, you're telling me you never heard the legend of the Barf Bag Boogeyman. Ooh. <laughs> School these fools, cool. Listen up, suckers, y'all just might learn something. Years ago, on a Halloween night, some kid got left behind inside the park's funhouse. All alone in the dark, the boy got so scared, he threw up! Blah. Blah. Eventually he found his way out, but as for the throw up, well it just stayed there, just festering inside, never to be cleaned up by the unreliable and ill-tempered teenage staff. Now every Halloween night, the ghost of the boy's vomit, the barf bag boogeyman, returns to exact its revenge on whoever is foolish enough to enter the funhouse, never being able to rest because the pile of puke was never cleaned up. Y'all really want your sacks back? You gotta make it through the whole funhouse. That is, if the buff bag boogeyman don't get you first. <laughs> Two trembling friends stood outside the funhouse. Now all they had to do was enter. But once in, would they be able to make it back out? I don't know. Don't get scared now. You know, Cool, you may be tough, but somewhere out there, someone's even tougher. And I hope the day comes when the two of you meet. When that day comes, I'll pop that fool in the face. I'll always be top dog, little monkey. Now guess the stepping fools! Man, those guys are bigger dopes than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> suckers thought we'd actually give them their suckers back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, boys and girls, what will become of our two stuffed friends? Will they run into the barf bag boogeyman? Will they ever get their candy back? Find out the answers next time on Awesome Time. Till then, I'm sleeping with the lights on. Have any friends? No. Man, this Abe don't know why he's clapping. Wait, what?